Hello guys, welcome back to another unturned video. Now you're probably wondering why I'm here instead of in there. Well, just like I said earlier in my last video, where I would be getting some stuff done. Basically, I found a few new things, ate an MRE, and gassed up my vehicle, and, well... Yeah, that's, that's about. And now I need to get to that little spot right between Alberton and Fernwood Farms. You probably can see me pointing at my screen just then. Well, because this only records the game, but... Yeah, I'm thinking... No, right there will be a good place, or the place right under Fernwood Farm, maybe? Right under the road. I don't know, but I'm gonna go over there. You know, maybe start up a house. Those zombies just got taken care of. Also, I'm not, I've found out that berries are a lot more rare in this version, so that's why you haven't seen me tripping. I want to check if there's any good loot in that military tent. Sandbags. And, you know, why the heck not? I'm gonna go investigate one or two houses. Always can do with more food. There we go. Oh, I do have a crossbow. Well, then I'm going to have to come back here at some point and get those arrows. Let's see where I am on the map. I'm at Montague. Okay, I'm sorry, Mia. Maybe it's just my curiosity, but I want to see what's at Kensington Campground. Oh, just just a bunch of tents. But come on, what else should I have expected? Goddamn you zombies. 
I really wish I had ammunition. Now let's investigate these tents. I am gonna drop this one in shield right here, right now, so that I can so that I can pick up that cloth. I'll be back for you. I don't need two saws. Yes! Our final way for that scope but not to be taking up a ton of inventory <laughs> <Tory> space. <coughs> and now I can go pick up my other item. Now I am all good. There's a lot of saws around here. There we go. You know, what's the point of having an amazingly impressive military weapon if you have no frickin' rounds for it? Now, let's stop sidetracking. Although I could use some water. Let's stop sidetracking and build ourselves a house. I love this vehicle, it's so nice to have.
just driving. Engage. <laughs> awesome, I'm right where I need to be. Wait, is is this mountain Okay good. I'm thinking of building my house up on that hill right there. What do I need for a crate? Okay. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. I'm really going to have to drop some stuff in order to be able to build pretty much anything. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that, but had some kind of annoying interruptions. Anyways, let's get back to building this house. Man, the sun's setting. That sucks. Just chop down this here tree. I'm gonna need to drop more than one thing. Where the heck did the gas canister go? Okay, I apparently only have two gas canisters now.
What would be nice if I had some berries growing on this hill? Oh, whatever. I guess that's a lost cause. Looking for berries in the dark. Okay. I want I don't know what a wooden plate is. I'm gonna need more wooden supports. It'd be really nice if I had one of those miner's helmets. And I need three wooden crosses. And I need to go chop down one more tree for one more wooden cross. Guess I probably want it to be the same type of wood. It is so dark. Also, I really need some water. I'm thinking once it becomes daytime, I'm gonna have to go back into that town.
Wow, are you serious? Okay, good. Okay, so the wooden plates I made actually weren't useless. And I need two wooden frames. Okay, I built a crate, I'm gonna need a wooden floor to actually put that crate on. I need three wooden frames. The crafting recipes in this version are a lot more complex. Well, guys, that's the house's beginnings, I guess. I'm going to finish it up tomorrow. I just don't want this video to get too long. And building during night is getting obnoxious. See you guys later. Peace.